Hi guys, welcome back to another video and welcome to my channel if you're new. Hi, my name is Femke and in today's video I wanted to share with you how I did the neon pink hand painted marble design that I had been wearing for already two weeks on my right hand. As you can see here, it's already grown out a bit. Now I'm recording this voiceover. It is actually Valentine's Day and this set has been on for three weeks and a day and I'm actually planning on keeping it for another week and I still have no lifting so yeah that's already really good news but if you are new to my channel and you haven't subscribed yet I would really appreciate it if you would like to do so hit that notification bell as well so you will be notified every time I upload a new video but for today's video, because I was still wearing this really pretty design, I actually did this with my non-dominant hand. I am right-handed, so yeah, I always do gel designs with my left hand. But yeah, as you can see here, there is already some new growth. I have lost, I think, like two glitters or something like that. But other than that, it was pretty neat. So I am going to do this on a press-on nail, just to show you how I did this. And as a base color, I'm actually going in with Florida Pink. This is a beautiful Barbie pink kind of color. All of the gel polishes that I have used on my own nails as well as I'm going to use in this video are by Pink Gelock. Pink Gelock actually sends out a lot of their beautiful collections to me for me to swatch and review. I'm not getting paid or anything like that to share it with you guys, but I just really love the brand. It is based here in the Netherlands as well. So yeah, I love to support my local businesses. Then for the marble itself, I'm going to use Peel Pink, which is the color that I'm showing you right here. I really love this color as well. Like, you guys know me. I love my pink color. So for a marble, which I was really feeling like doing back in January even, when I did this on my own natural nails, I just really wanted to use these beautiful pink colors. But because I didn't want to have like pink overload and a little bit more contrast in the marble, I decided to use a very soft white color as well. This one is called Cocoa White and it's just a really nice, like not too stark of a white color. Then to add a little bit sparkle and bedazzlement, because you know I love that, I'm going in with a little bit of the Touch Up Supreme Gold Flaky Top Coat as well. This is more of one of those um, special effect top coats, so it doesn't need to be wiped off after, but I'm going to use it as like a little bit of sparkle, so not on top of the entire nail surface. And as a top coat, I'm using the Ultra Shine. I've used that one so much, like the entire brand brand name has rubbed off and for glitter you can see right here I'm just using a random iridescent pink glitter with a lot of different uh, sized glitter in it I'm just going to pick that up with a dotting tool but you will see that a little later in the video but let's just start off with the base so I am going in with two layers of that Florida pink as I mentioned just to make it completely opaque this is exactly how I did it on my own nails as well but of course only working with my non-dominant hand. For now, I'm just going to do it with my right hand because as I mentioned, I am right-handed and working on a press-on nail like this, working with my right hand is the easiest for me, even though I can pretty much do exactly the same thing with my left hand because I've just, I've been doing my own nails for so long. It doesn't really matter that much anymore whether I work with my right or left hand, but I do notice that if I work with my left hand, it is a little slower, a little bit more shaky. So yeah, if you are just like me and you get the shakes every now and then, don't worry, just take your time because this is gel polish and nothing is is like definitely on there um, before you put it in your LED light. So yeah, just to make the marble, I decided to take one of my nice resin plates and just put the three colors on there. And for a brush, I'm actually using a poly gel brush, but you can easily um, work with that with gels as well. That doesn't really matter in my opinion, as long as you decently clean it afterwards, you're good to go. So yeah, I'm just going to scoop up the three colors all together just to show you right here. For now, I'm just going to put the resin plate aside so you can totally focus on the nail and how I applied it. So yeah, with the loaded up brush, I'm just going to randomly squiggle the gel on here. 
I haven't removed the sticky layer from the base color by the way but I did decide to add a little bit of that hot pink to the marble part too just to make sure it's kind of flowy and you can add a little bit more of that base color or any of the other two colors to your likings. You can definitely play around with this a, a lot like really a lot you can just take your time because as I mentioned these are gel polishes, they don't air dry. You can just take it off with a little bit of alcohol as well if you feel like you've added a bit too much or if the design isn't to your likings, you can just remove it if you want to. So yeah, as I tend to mention in a lot of my videos, there are no rules to nail art because it's just nail polish or gel polish and you can remove it if you don't like it. So don't be scared to actually go out, just try some new stuff out, try some new techniques because yeah, you can just take it off if you don't like it. And also if you are in a situation where people are judging you a lot or maybe you're not allowed to wear bright colors or anything like that, just do it in your spare time or if you're like me, I don't really care about what other people think about what I'm wearing on my nails like in daily life. I only get like really positive replies and if there's someone who doesn't like it, like they can have their opinions because I'm going to do what I love to do anyways and I would highly advise anyone to do so. Don't let anyone's opinion hold you back on what you want to do especially when it comes to nail art because it's such a creative way of expressing yourself but yeah here on the previous little clip i actually showed you that the resin plates are really easy to clean off as well just take a little bit of rubbing alcohol and a cotton pad or any kind of like kitchen towel or something and you can just easily remove it and your plate is good to go but back to the design, if you are happy with how your marble design turned out, just make sure you are going to fully cure it for the proper amount of time. When it comes to pink gel, uh, gel polishes, it takes one full minute in LED or two minutes in UV. I only work with an LED lamp, so yeah, I just have to wait for a minute. But once that is fully cured, I'm going in with that beautiful sparkly flaky top coat. This was the Touch Up Supreme Gold Flaky Top top coat so yeah it is a top coat and it will have no sticky layer afterwards but i'm going to cap everything in with a layer of no wipe top coat afterwards so yeah you just want to take or at least i took one of my dotting tools and just took a little bit straight from the brush and just applied that oh for the record i actually haven't sped up anything in this process i only cut out the um waiting time while the nail was actually being cured in led so yeah you can actually see and kind of get a feel and look of how long it takes to do a nail like this um i really took my time for this one just to show you that it's okay to take time when doing nail designs especially on your own nails and if you're working um, with your non-dominant hand it might take a little bit of like extra time so that is why I definitely took my time while doing this design as well but of course if you are working faster and you're really happy with the end result just do your thing you know if you can save up a little more time that is also pretty awesome but it's not a bad thing to actually spend a couple of more minutes to make it exactly the way you want it to be but yeah, while the um, flaky top coat is actually still wet, I am going to place some of that loose glitter in there. I'm also going to take a dotting tool for that and I'm starting off with placing the bigger um, glitter on there. Oh, and for the record, I don't know if I have mentioned this or if you have read my community post. Now I'm recording it. It is Valentine's Day and I've been kind of sick for like the past three days. I was feeling so, so sick at work last Friday, um, which will be a week once this video is up. But yeah, so if my voice sounds a little different than it usually does, that's just because I'm having a really bad cold. Uh, the weather here has been like below zero, below like minus five 
degrees Celsius at least every single day for a week now or even longer while when this video is up <laughs> so yeah the cold really got to me but yeah if my voice sounds a little different than it usually does just ignore it i'm feeling kind of better already um it's been three days now so yeah i'm already going towards the better side of health again <laughs> but yeah that was just what i wanted to put out there and yeah let's just get back to the video because i'm starting to get a little rambly <laughs> but if you have placed all of the glitter and the amount of glitter is totally up to you as well i just didn't want to like fully overload this nail with glitter because then the marble effect would be kind of like in the like backdrop or in the shadows however you want to call that so i just added some glitter it isn't like a tiny amount either but yeah you know i love my bling i love my glitter so you can just decide how much of a glitter you want to add maybe you only want to go in with smaller glitters and just skip the chunky ones that is totally up to you as well but after you've placed it all where you want it to be just make sure you fully cured it because that sparkly flaky top coat wasn't cured yet and after that i I am going in with my no wipe top coat this one is the ultra shine top coat and i really love this one i use it all the time i have applied a little bit of a thicker layer just to make sure that all of the glitter is completely encapsulated that is something that i love to do as well but yeah after that you are fully done with this design already do let me know if you want to try out this design for yourself as well i had a lot of fun actually doing this on my own nails i tend to not record every single design that i do on my nails especially when it comes to gel polishes because i'm so like close up to my nails when doing that it's really like easier for me to not record it so yeah that's why i actually just decided to do uh, like recorded part of this design on a press on nail and um, especially because you guys have seen this set of nails on my right hand in a couple of videos and I got so many questions if I wanted to share this design on how I made it I just decided to do it on a later moment so yeah I really hope you liked it let me know if you have any comments or questions or anything like that you can pretty much do this with every type of gel polish no matter the brand I just love pink gel lock, so I use them a lot but yeah thank you guys so so much for watching and i don't really know what else there's left to say other than i hope you're all staying safe and healthy and love doing your nails and don't let anyone hold you back in what you want to do with your nails i love you so so much and i hope to see you in one of my next videos mm -hmm.